What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the world? World OED coming at you live and in the flesh and in the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for the Holy Spirit. Um, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about the teachings of Jesus Christ and how we can follow him and join the 144,000 and make it eventually to the pearly gates of heaven. And indeed, you know, the streets of heaven made of gold, whatever. Get your mansion that Jesus made for you after he died on the cross or the stake is, you know, whatever. We'll ask him when he get when I get there. Um, anyways, what you have to do, sell what you have, follow Jesus, love your neighbor, don't underestimate uh, children, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven, don't look on a woman with lust, um, take the log out of your eye before you take the moat or the speck from your neighbor's eye, blessed are the poor in spirit, blessed are the meek, blessed are the sorrowful, give to the poor, turn the other cheek, practice humility, be humble, uh, the cornerstone, we don't serve anybody else but Jesus, the beginning of wisdom is the fear of God, if you say that you're without sin, the truth is not in you, rebuke sin, judge fairly, make no promises, preach Jesus Christ, uh, we have a duty as useless servants to fulfill the great commission, uh, let Jesus' teachings break you, it's better to be broken by Jesus than to be ground to a fine powder and just dead in hell, you know, by Jesus. So, be broken by his teachings, you know. We should be hungry, we should be meek, because the Holy Spirit will then reward that with um, the ability to heal, the ability to cast out demons, and the ability to follow Jesus in new and exciting ways that, honestly, the apostate church just has no idea about. Um, so anyways, uh, it's better, yeah, it's better to be broken than ground into powder, as I said. Um, we follow Jesus' teachings alone. We don't follow the apostles, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Um, you know, Paul, we don't follow any of them. We follow Jesus, all right? They only repeat what Jesus said anyways. Uh, don't put God to the test. That is to say, don't do sins that are going to uh, make God uh, wonder, like, what's wrong with you? You know, don't put God to the test. Um, take nothing for this journey. Uh, eat with the poor, uh, bread and soup, and uh, just be humble, you know, serve them. Don't serve yourself. And serve God, too. Um, so it's, it's a big task that we have in front of us, but it's something that we have to do as useless servants. Uh, we have to build the kingdom of God. We take the lowest position in meetings. Um, we are not to take titles. Uh, so, you know, president? Eh, no, I don't want to be the president of anything. Take up your cross and follow Jesus. Eat what's given and be grateful for it. Don't complain, even if it doesn't taste that good. Um, rejoice when persecuted, because to live is Jesus Christ, to die is gain. Uh, change cities if you get persecuted, just move. Uh, cut off your hand if it offends you or if it causes you to sin. Let the dead bury the dead. Love God above all. Love your neighbors. Repent. Believe in the gospel. Have faith in God or Yahweh of armies as I like to call him. And fear God because the fear of God is the beginning of all wisdom. And that's when you get all these things revealed into you. So, share the love of God uh, for the glory of God, and heaven will be yours, okay? Let's just love one another. Let's reject all this technology. And let's fight back, because this is the apocalypse, the unveiling, okay? There's going to be demons, there's going to be uh, giant grasshoppers and Apollyon. Um... Uh, the black goo, uh, the canopic oil. Um, let's see what else. Oh man, so much stuff. Uh, the Antichrist, uh, deception, you know, false miracles. Be alert because it's all coming, people. Don't take the RFID chip, and when the abomination of desolation shows up, run, flee to the mountains. God will take care of you, okay? This is Rojo 88. And where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Who's like you? Exactly. Just repent. Jesus is coming. And of course you're gonna say, oh, well I know better than you. 
Do you? Do you really? How do you know I'm not one of the elect? How do you know I'm not one of the 144,000 that God chose? I'm still a humble sheep, so keep that in mind. I love you all very, very much, and I'm praying for you, and you're in my uh, thoughts during these hard times. I know a lot of people are dying. A lot of people are sick. A lot of people need healing. A lot of people are depressed. A lot of people are having money problems. A lot of people are basically up against the wall, and I feel you. I'm right there with you. You know who can fix all of it? Jesus. Uh, but we have to be willing to follow him as human beings, not as like cyborgs and androids and whatever this uh, plume serpent of a country is trying to do next. I see you, Donald Trump, with your icebreaker machine and praising the Coast Guard and all that. Whatever, man. You know, do we need to be the world police? No. Did we ever need to be the world police? No. Anyways, I'm rambling. Follow Jesus. Sell what you have and follow Jesus. I love you all. And I will speak with you very, very soon. Okay, bye.